How would you model this probability experiment? You roll a single six-sided die. The number you roll is not revealed, but you are told the outcome is an odd number. What is the probability the outcome is also prime? In this lesson, you will learn to reach fundamental understandings of conditional probability by modeling scenarios. Let's review a little. Conditional probability is the probability of an event B occurring given that an event A has already occurred. So the formula is the probability of B given A equals the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. Let's look at an example. Ms. Rizzo has a bag of 13 red and blue triangles and circles. What is the probability that a shape is a triangle given that it is blue? This question is really asking us to find a fraction. We already know all of the shapes we're interested in are blue. Once we determine how many blue shapes there are in that bag, the number will become the denominator. The question again is really interested in how many of those blue shapes are triangles. This count will serve as our numerator. Now let's find these counts. This is the original bag. This is the bag with blue shapes only. Counting we find there are eight blue shapes. This is the bag with blue triangles only. Counting we find there are four blue triangles. So we can substitute these counts back into our fraction and reduce. Finding that the probability of drawing a triangle given that it is blue is one half. Let's try another scenario. You roll a single six sided die. The number you roll is not revealed, but you are told the outcome is an odd number. What is the probability the outcome is also prime? Again, this question is asking us for a fraction. The outcomes we are interested in are odd. So the count of odd outcomes becomes our denominator. Now, we are also interested in how many of those odd outcomes are prime. So the count of outcomes satisfying the conditions of being both odd and prime becomes our numerator. Now let's find these counts. There are six total outcomes possible on a standard die. The odd outcomes of these six are one, three, and five. So we have a total of three outcomes that are odd. Now let's look at outcomes that are both prime and odd. Of one, three, and five, only three and five are prime. We do not consider the number one to be prime. Therefore, our total here is 2. Substituting these values back into our fraction, we find the probability of rolling a prime outcome, given that it is odd, is 2 thirds. Let's take a moment and compare the proportions used to solve the last two examples with the conditional probability formula. In problem 1, we use the fraction count of blue triangles over the count of blue shapes. If we write this question using the conditional probability formula, we find that the intersection of blue and triangles is the same count value as in our fraction count of blue triangles. The relationship is the same for the denominator. You're going to have count of blue shapes. This also holds true for our second problem. In essence, the conditional probability of A given B is just the fraction of B's outcomes that also belong to A. So in problem two, how many of those odd outcomes were also prime? In context of the first problem, uh, how many of those blue shapes were also triangles? In this lesson, you have learned to reach fundamental understandings of conditional probability by modeling scenarios.